Here we go. Tuesday, September the 22nd. A couple of our players tired, but we are ready as we will ever be against the might of West Bromwich Albion. Good thing we got some of these players rested. Now, West Brom Sunderland. Let's Here we go. I honestly have huge expectations of this one after beating Aston Villa. I am very, very optimistic now. And so it begins. The biggest thing we will have to look for is not making the same mistake as we did against Aston Villa. And just stay as compact and as safe as possible until we get into the match. Max Power. O'Brien, he has McGeady, has scored against Aston Villa, will he score this time, and he hits the bar, ooh, so O'Brien shoots, but no, not this time, we have looked a lot better in this opening 25 minutes, Oof. O'Neill is pacey and he will get there. He will need some help. There's three players there. He gets some help. And Jones. Oh, and it's Hume with a header out. Let's breathe. <laughs> Our Bales is out, but wrong side of the post. See Sam Allardyce cheering his team on. He must be very angry that they haven't scored yet against a team that is two tiers below them. And it's a stalemate still at the Hawthorns. Ooh, it's Max Power, and it's O'Brien, he's in, he's got Dobson coming in, but I think it's corner, do we get a corner here? Yes we do. Nagiri, it's... So, so close, by right. Just over the bar. Here they go again, but it's O9 with great reflex skill. Oh, the lead bitter. No, it's Max Power who gives it away. And it's Dianye. That's a simulation, son. Don't be a cunt. And it's O'Brien. It's O'Brien shoots, but it's Johnstone who is equal to it. 79th minute and Ross Stewart will get a chance to prove himself. And so will Carl Winchester who needs no proving. But Dianya, Dianyana is with the ball. 9 has been running tirelessly. For the last 80 minutes and Hume now on the other side saves us once again our defense has been impeccable Hume is also very tired and so Wokens comes in Harwood Bellis it's Carl Winchester it's Max Power, still Max Power, shoots, reflection, it's Ede Megiri. it's another reflection, another block, this might just be our last chance to score from the open play, it's ball in, Winchester, and we score a late goal against West Brom Bromwich Albion. 
Will this be enough to get us through the next round? What a jump. What a ball, really, from Magiri. And what a jump. And what a header from Carl Winchester. The legendary number 26. There is no way John Stone could have saved this one. And here we go. We just have to defend now. And it is all over. And we are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Allardyce is beaten as was Aston Villa and Carl Winchester comes in in the 82nd minute to score and lead us to the next round and Aiden McGeady honestly he was the best player of the match he shot the post once and assisted Carl Winchester Tajian is a bit angry that we left him out but he was very very tired i think the fifa needs to fix that and we are first once again sunderland ipswich and here we go stadium of light again and it's sunderland against ipswich oh but it's willis it comes out on top oh nine he has run, Ooh. he ran so much in the last match and he's already in the top shape. Ooh, but it's Charles Wyke, Hume, and the ball is back with Hoy. He finds Dobson, Dobson shoots. No goal. Megiri. It's Wyke over the bar. And it's half time. It's Winchester. Oh, it's Megiri. But how good is this? We just keep scoring and scoring and scoring. Winchester, wow, how he pulled them all to himself and figured out, oh, there's McGeady, he's waiting for the ball, he scores, it's for Winchester, shoots it with his lefty, and he is on the roll, this season has just been him. It's been Carl Winchester show really. Wow. What a goal. Carl Winchester scores with his weaker foot and shows everyone how good he really is. And so does Willis. I was honestly thinking, you know, maybe one of these. Wait, we have a goal and it's Charles Wyke who shows us that the whole team is in form I was saying about our defense how I thought you know maybe Willis would not be that good and so it would force me to put maybe Sanderson in there to let him have more experience but Willis has proved crucial a couple of players have just been phenomenal this season 3-0 Gooch got a second yellow in 88th minute which makes him suspended for the next match we will be forced to use the youngster we have good seven days of rest now we are two points ahead, Peterborough, who we are yet to face.
Aymar Oros, 18 years old with a good stamina. This one might be worth scouting next season because this season he's unwilling to come. Second to last, Accrington. That's our next fixture. Here we go. Ball in and they get a header. That was very, very close. And it's Aiden McGeady who shoots and he scores. Look at the celebrations. We're already used to scoring first. We're already used to winning the clean sheets. And it's half time. It's 1-0. Oh, but Hume! Wow, this is a highlight reel, really. Oh, no, no, no! They have scored. We do look shaky a little bit now. Need to make a couple of changes here. Come on, guys, come on. Cost us a couple of chances. Now almost another one. It's Carl Winchester and it's Jones and he scores it into the top bin. We needed this. We really did. Good goal. Very good goal. I honestly thought and expected a lot easier match against Accrington. But I will take it, Charlie Wyke is our MVP. Avela Belletti at suspension. So thank you all for watching and see you guys next time.